If you want to add time codes or what YouTube calls as chapters to your videos so that they show up on the YouTube scrubber bar, then keep watching this video. You got to just press record. Hey guys, my name is Nolan Malt with Think Media and let's jump right into the tutorial. So on this Think Media video, we can see that we have these chapters and you've seen them before. The question is, how do you actually add these to your video? So up here, I have a video that I posted. And um, if we click on this video, you can see that there are no chapters available right now it's just kind of like what you would normally see and so I want to add those time codes those chapters onto this video so I'm gonna go over to edit video now you can either add them to your description or your pinned comment I personally like to add them to my description and so that is exactly what I'm gonna do and I've actually already created my time codes and I am just going to go ahead and add this right here towards the bottom and I'm going to paste that onto here. So I've added in my time codes into my description and if I go ahead and hit save, it is actually not going to work. There's something we need to do first and so I'm going to hit return and you need to add in zero colon zero zero. This is going to let them know when to start and you need this in order for time codes to start to show up and those chapters to be on that playhead on YouTube. Typically what we do here at Think Media is we'll just have it called intro because it's usually the intro to the video and then the rest of it you know, gets into the specifics of what the video is talking about. What I'm gonna do now is hit save. You wanna make sure that you save this. And once it is fully saved, we can see it says changes saved. I'm gonna go back to this video and we're gonna see if it's worked. Awesome, so I'm gonna pause the video. We can now see that as we scrub through, we have these different time codes. And so down here in the description, they're also still here. People can click on them over here if they'd like, but then they're also up here, which is a really cool feature that you can now do on your videos. Another note to add is if you don't have this 000 piece, these are still going to be clickable, but they're not gonna show up up here. So you really wanna add in something here, like an intro or whatever you'd like to call it, um, and that is the key piece to making sure that this works when you are adding them to your video. Now there's a few more really important tips and tricks that you can do with these time codes, but first like this video if you've learned something new. And the question of the day is what is your YouTube channel all about? Let us know in the comments down below. We'd love to hear from you. Now time codes can actually be really, really helpful for ranking in Google search. Something that we found is when you are searching on Google, YouTube is actually using these channels chapters to send people directly to a specific part of your video. Now this is really, really important because there's a lot of traffic from Google for people asking specific questions and if your chapters or your time codes are worded correctly, then this is gonna help you rank in Google and get you ton of views. So the tip here is to use keywords that people are searching for inside of your chapter titles. Now if you really wanna learn more about these keywords and how to find the right keywords so that you can get more views and be found through search, then you definitely want to check out thinkmasterclass.com and you can learn all about it from that free training. A few other things you need to make sure you do so that this works is make sure it's in chronological order or else they are not going to pick up onto your YouTube video as well as make sure your titles are longer than two letters. So it's got to be at least three letters or else YouTube won't pick that up and put it onto your video. And my last tip is to let people know that there are time codes. Some people just miss them and so if they they know there are time codes, then they can find something in the video that they want to watch and instead of clicking off, they might find something that they were looking for. A great example of this is my iMovie editing tips and tricks video. The first tip they might already know and instead of them just clicking off, I let them know I'm like, hey, check the time codes down in the description and you might learn something new. So my hope is that before they click off, they at least check the time codes and they learn a few tips and tricks that they didn't know before watching. Watching. And that right there is going to help you increase that average view duration and in return, get more views. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you want to see more tips and tricks about YouTube, then click on the screen right now to check out that playlist. I'll see you guys in the next video.